Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong has announced several changes to the cabinet and other political appointments. The latest changes come slightly over a year after the last reshuffle in July 2012. Speaking to reporters on the sidelines of his official visit to China, Mr Lee said he's been building up and reinforcing his team since the last general election. Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong said he's reinforcing his team as governance becomes more complicated. The latest changes will see promotions as well as new appointments. These ministries and departments and divisions need to be staffed with political leadership, people who can oversee the ministry, the work of management and, and, and government, but also people who can do the political work, which means going out, outreach, engaging uh, Singaporeans, engaging different groups, understanding what people are feeling, getting our views across and making sure we know how people are feeling. And I think for that we need to, we need a, a, a we need a team which has a varied range of talents and abilities. And it's a team which you build up gradually over time. You don't do it overnight. One year since he was made acting minister for social and family development, Mr Chan Chun Singh will become a full minister from 1st September. He will also be appointed second defence minister. Mr Tan Chuan Jin will relinquish his appointment as senior minister of state for national development. He remains as acting minister for manpower. Dr. Amy Cole will be promoted to Senior Minister of State for Health and Manpower. Mrs. Josephine Teo will be promoted to Senior Minister of State for Finance and Transport. Also promoted are Dr. Maliki Osman and Ms. Sim Ann, who will both be Ministers of State. Two new office holders will also be appointed. They are Mr. Desmond Lee, who will be Minister of State for National Development, and Ms. Lo Yen Ling, who will be Parliamentary Secretary in the Social and Family Development Ministry. They've both been good backbenchers. I think they've worked hard and people have gotten to know them and I'm sure they will make a contribution. All the appointments will take effect from September except for Ms Lo, who will assume her new post from October. I've promoted Chun Singh this year. Um, there are others in his batch who are in the, in the team. Um, uh, Tan Chuan Jin and Lawrence, uh, who became acting ministers last year, I will consider in future exercises depending on how they perform, of course. Political observers say the latest changes represent an incremental step towards leadership renewal in Singapore. And there will be probably more changes made before the next general election due by 2016. What's clear, though, is that the current cabinet represents the next generation of leaders for the country. It is not for me to determine my successor, it's for the young people, the younger ministers and the team to work out amongst themselves whom they, whom, whom they will uh, support as their leader. I think that people who are in the cabinet now will be an important part of the next generation of leaders for Singapore. Mr Lee added he hopes to reinforce his team further as he makes an annual review of appointments. And we spoke to the newly promoted cabinet members and they outlined their priorities in their new roles. Since his appointment as acting minister, Mr Chan Chun Singh has overseen reforms to the childcare sector to ensure better quality and more affordable services. Replying to queries from Channel News Asia, Mr Chan said there's much more work to be done in the coming years to realise the direction that the Prime Minister has charted in this year's National Day rally. Dr Amy Kaur, who will be promoted to Senior Minister of State, also spoke about the need to forge a new way forward as issues become more complex in Singapore. One area is the affordability of health care. Dr Kaur added she's pleased to see four women on the list of promotions. I think it augurs well, it bodes well for women in politics. Uh, I think it is an affirmation of the meritocratic principle that Singapore has been built on, uh, that is really uh, efforts and contribution. And, you know, it's not gender, gen it's gender blind. Uh, I hope that this will actually encourage more women who are interested uh, to serve, you know, uh, via politics to step forward. MP for Jurong GRC Desmond Lee is one of two backbenchers being brought in as office holders. To be appointed as the new Minister of State for National Development, he said the challenge would be to balance infrastructure development while meeting the aspirations of Singaporeans. Uh, the challenge at the highest level is for MND to uh, make Singapore a livable place, a place that people call home, that they cherish and not just use. 
Uh, and of course, there are other issues like uh, affordability of housing. Also new as an office holder is MP for Chua Chu Kang GRC, Lo Yen Ling, who will join the Social and Family Development Ministry. I hope in some ways, being a mother to two young boys, being a parent, being a wife to my husband, and also being a daughter to my mother, will bring me closer to the issues that we need to tackle at MSF. And I hope we can build on Singaporeans' wish for closer community ties and stronger social cohesion. Dr Maliki Osman, who will be promoted to Minister of State, said one of his main areas of concern is the plight of vulnerable families. We must make sure that we're able to stabilise their lives, give hope uh, to their children, to make sure that uh, they have a stake in Singapore's development. The other new Minister of State is Sim Ann, who will remain in the Education and Communications and Information Ministries. In the Minister of Education, I assist Minister Heng in looking at areas such as special needs education as well as the mother tongue language policy. Uh, I also assist uh, my colleague Mr Hawazi with parent uh, engagement so uh, I expect that I will continue uh, to work on these areas. Ms Sim said she hopes to bring her two portfolios together to promote the use of technology in schools.